In this video we're going to show you how to set up a free wireless hotspot with the UseMyNet system. This is probably the simplest way of doing things if you don't want customers to have to enter a code, if you don't want to charge them, but you maybe want to advertise your business to them when they connect to your wireless network, or perhaps have them agree to some terms and conditions or some terms of service for using your Wi-Fi. The setup we've got here is we've got my computer connected to a UseMyNet unit, and you can see we've got the UseMyNet administration screen up here. So what we can do is just go into Edit Landing Page. This is the page that customers see when they connect to your wireless network. And um, here's the default page that everyone gets. Now, we're not going to be using ticket codes, so what we can do is we can just get rid of that section here. And then you can have a uh, little bit here, and you can say, you know, uh, welcome to... Ed's Wi-Fi and you can also upload pictures or anything like that but what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, make that a bit bigger welcome to Ed's Wi-Fi so that's what customers will see and then we can say this service is free to use to agree to our terms please click the button below and that'll start the session so that'll do for me we could make that a lot more fancy but just to show you how it works we'll we'll do that then what we can do is we can um, choose if we want to limit customers to a certain amount of time for their free session. So we'll go into the basic settings here and we can have a, a, a time period here. So let's say we're not feeling we're not feeling too generous. This is down under the free session here. We'll say maybe for free. Let, let's let's give them 30 minutes of uh, free session. And then we can also set the traffic limit. So this is the um, total amount of uh, upload and download in megabytes that they're, they're allowed to do. And, you know, depending on the, the cost of your internet connection, you might want to set that high or, or, or quite low. At the moment, it's set to, to 10 meg. So I think we're a bit more, a bit more generous than that. We'll give them uh, 20 meg. And right down here at the bottom, the frequency of purge by default um, it's set to two hours so what that means is after a customer uses a, uh, a free session which is half an hour long it means the system won't let them on again for two hours so we can we can alter that and in fact maybe that's a, a bit short for us and we say maybe we'd want a customer to be able to use half an hour a day so we could maybe set it to 12 hours so they use it and then 12 hours later they could uh, they could use it again so we'll just we'll just do that and we'll just leave that to save there and meanwhile what we'll do is we'll pop over here onto this screen and we'll pretend that we've just connected up to uh, our system and let's try let's try going to Google instead of going to Google you can see we get the landing page that we've just designed ourselves welcome to Ed's Wi-Fi service is free to use to accept our terms click the button below sure let's let's go for that and then you can see here that we've got our 30 minute internet access and we've got 20 megabytes to use. So that'll just let the customer know how long they've got and how much internet access you've got. And there you see, you're through onto, um, onto Google and they can surf away for half an hour or so. Meanwhile, back on the administration page, you can go into manage current sessions. You can see the sessions listed here. Um, if it's a free session, it'll be listed under being a self-gen, self-generated code. You can see that uh, that's my computer and there's 29 minutes left, 20 meg limit. And if you like, what you can do is if you want to throw someone off, you can kill the session. And then the next time they try to go to any pages like that, they just get thrown back to the front page again. There's a quick demonstration. To find out more, please visit us at usemynet.com.